Hey, I'm Sam, and I think F-099 is pretty cool, actually. When the announcement for this game was, like, semi-leaked online, the general consensus was pretty negative, and some of that carried into the Nintendo Direct. And, like, I get it, I was a little disappointed too, but after trying F-099 myself, I completely understand what they're going for. This game is, like, almost perfect. Before I talk about the game itself, I just want to ask, did everyone seriously expect Nintendo to release a full game from a series the general public has like completely forgotten about and then have it do well? Because that really doesn't make any sense. With the release of F-Zero 99, I think more people than ever before are consciously thinking about and playing an F-Zero game. That's a really good thing. In the future, yeah, it makes sense to make a brand new game, but an NSO freebie like this is a great way to ease people into the series. Especially when it's this addicting and fun. I've seen a lot of people ask why they didn't make it based off the later games like X and GX and like, I do understand where they're coming from, but I think going with the SNES game was the smartest choice. I'm sorry, but F-Zero X and GX are really complex games that are pretty unforgiving. Not that the SNES game isn't difficult either, but because of how simple it is, I think it was the right choice to modernize in this format. The original F-Zero happens to be the best selling and most recognizable game in the whole series too, so that probably helped Nintendo make that choice. I think the most important thing here is that the game itself is really damn fun. I am not huge on the battle royale genre. I did enjoy Tetris 99, but it got stale after a while, and most battle royales just kind of leave me bored. But in F-Zero 99, this style of game works perfectly. It almost doesn't really feel like a weird spinoff. Like, if this game stuck to like 30 players instead of 99, it would just be a really well done multiplayer version of the first F-Zero game. But I think the 99 player chaos is just so, so natural for F-Zero. It almost feels like the entire 99 Battle Royale concept was just made for this game. F-Zero has always been about these huge crazy races where you can just like straight up explode. So multiplying the player count a few times doesn't really feel that out of place for this series. I think the only thing that stands out is not very traditional F-Zero here is the Skyway, which definitely exists to help out worse players. But honestly, it's not going to be the difference between winning or losing, so I don't think it's a big deal. The game is still very skill-based. Kind of a side note, but Wow, they didn't really show it off at all during the Direct, but the Grand Prix mode feels like the real heart and soul of this game. If you haven't tried it, I wouldn't write F-099 off at all until you've given the Grand Prix a shot, because there is something incredibly exhilarating about just trying to stay alive as the player count is whittled down between each round. It almost feels like the actual Battle Royale mode as opposed to the regular game, because it's honestly not that hard to stay alive during the main matches, but in Grand Prix you are like fighting for your life. There's also just something incredibly charming about this like stripped back mode 7 style game being presented in widescreen with this clean UI and tons of players on the screen. Where Tetris 99 and Mario 35 kind of just felt like Mario and Tetris in boxes, F-Zero 99 feels like a proper massively multiplayer version of the original F-Zero game and it's really neat. While I really love how the game looks and plays and the core experience is almost perfect, I do have some issues. The limited options are good for keeping the scope in check and making sure all the lobbies get filled, but why can't we play a friends at all? The complete lack of friend lobbies just makes me a bit sad, considering we've never even seen a proper online F-Zero game until now, and I can only play it with randoms. Also, I'm just worried that the only updates this game will get will just be slowly drip-feeding content from the SNES game back into this game. Right now we have the Night Cup as the main one, and I assume the rest will be rotated in later. Well, that's all fine, I would like to see some stuff based off the GBA games or maybe even original brand new content. And some more vehicle types would be nice too. Despite my handful of problems and my own personal desire for a game that's less rooted in the original, this is honestly the perfect way to bring back F-Zero. It might not be the huge, fully original game everyone really wanted, but it's super fun and has brought the series to tons of people's attention who would have never even thought about it, which is something F-Zero really, really needed. But what do you think? Have you tried this game yet? It's free as long as you have Nintendo's silly online service, so I think it's worth checking out. And Nintendo, please capitalize on this in the future. Wait, not like that!